Hello everyone and welcome to Educer Small Talk series where we discuss some key topics related to practical management of patients. So our today's topic is what is decompensation in cirrhosis. So these are two very common clinical questions that we often face in our practice. One is does the patient have cirrhosis or what we clinically call as chronic liver disease? And if the patient has chronic liver disease, then is it compensated or decompensated? So let us first see how we can identify if the patient has chronic liver disease. And we go back to our basic clinical medicine where we can identify if the patient has cirrhosis based on the history. Some patients may present to you with a history of liver disease such as hepatitis B and C or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease which is very common these days or autoimmune hepatitis and so on. However, you may also see patients who will not have a history of disease of liver and they present as compensated or decompensated cirrhosis as their first clinical presentation. So with the history the examination we can see the stigma of liver disease and it is a big topic by itself and I am sure all of you know the head to toe stigmata of liver disease. So based on the history and the examination if you suspect your patient to have CLD we do some investigations and there are some blood markers of CLD such as low platelet count less than 1,50,000 is worrisome and less than 1 lakh is very worrisome. Low sodium is often seen in CLD, elevated bilirubin, deranged PTINR, albumin globulin ratio reversal is a very significant marker of presence of cirrhosis. And you also have scoring systems such as the NAFLD score and many other such systems which help you identify if the patient has fibrosis or cirrhosis. So after the blood investigations, even there are some imaging findings which can give you an idea. One is the co texture of liver, the Doppler in ultrasound and the fibro scan, the CT and the MRI and elastography. So these are all the investigations that you can do to identify if your patient has cirrhosis or not. Once you know that your patient has chronic liver disease, the key point is to know whether it is compensated or decompensated. So we have a staging system for compensated and decompensated liver disease. Compensated chronic liver disease is stage 1 when the patient has no ascites and no varices or non-bleeding varices which is stage 2. So these two conditions you have to remember. Ascites is fluid, varices is blood. So fluid and blood, if both are not there in a patient with chronic liver disease, it is stage 1. If there are varices but they are not bleeding, they are stage 2. But both of these are compensated chronic liver disease. So patients with ascites is stage 3 and patients with bleeding varices is stage 4 and stage 3 and 4 are decompensated cirrhosis. Other signs of decompensation are presence of hepatic encephalopathy, spontaneous bacterial peritonitis and hepatorenal syndrome. So to summarize, if your CLD patient has no ascites and no varices or no bleeding varices, it is a compensated chronic liver disease. And all other features of chronic liver disease are decompensation. But this line has a very significant catch that jaundice is a symptom and it is not a feature of decompensation. So no ascites, no bleeding varices, your patient is compensated CLD. So to summarize what we have seen in this small talk, Whenever you see a chronic liver disease patient, the first thing we need to know is whether the patient has chronic liver disease and this we can identify using history 
clinical examination, blood investigations and imaging findings. Once we know that the patient has chronic liver disease, to see if the patient is decompensated or not, the patient is decompensated if the patient has ascites, bleeding varices, hepatic encephalopathy, hepatorenal syndrome and spontaneous bacterial peritonitis. So these are the group of patients who are decompensated. Patients who don't have these five features are compensated chronic liver disease. Thank you very much for signing in. Feel free to like, comment and share the video to your colleagues and leave in your topics which we can include for upcoming discussions. Thank you.